Hello and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mahsa and today I will walk you through how to paint another beautiful winter scenery using acrylics paint. Are you ready? Let's get started. First things first, I would like to show you the colors I'm using today. I love using Amsterdam's acrylics colors as they are super vibrant and easy to use. If you don't have these exact colors, that's perfectly fine. Of course, you need a canvas, a glass of water, some paper towels, a palette, and a few brushes to get started. This is the painting we'll be painting together today. If you're also attempting to paint along, please share your final work with me via social media and tag my username so I can also see what you've done. Super excited to see what you'll do. Let's get started. I'm planning to do two winter theme paintings on one canvas and that's why I already have blue masking tape. I have already painted the top part of this canvas so I will cover it up for now. If you're interested to check out the tutorial for part one, click on the link in the corner. I use a pencil to sketch where I want our mountains to be. I go right ahead and add some titanium white to my canvas using a flat brush. It's perfectly fine to go over the areas that you planned your mountains to be. On your palette, mix a bit of ultramarine, brilliant blue, and just a touch of black oxide together. The mixture of that will be the color of your sky. Add that to the canvas and you see that it already starts to blend with the, uh, with the titanium white that you already added to your canvas. Go ahead and blend the colors and create the transition between the top part that is a bit darker to the bottom part near the mountains which is a bit lighter. Take some black oxide and add it to the two corners of your painting creating the contrast of coming from, from top to bottom coming from dark to a lighter tone. While doing this, but go back and forth using white, black, and the blue tones that you have. And that way you also create a bit of feel of clouds, lighter clouds being in the sky as well. Next, I will show you how I painted the mountains. I tried to use a brush to paint the mountains on the right side of the canvas and a palette knife for the ones on the left side. I will show you both techniques in this video. So for the mountains on the right side of the painting, first things first, you have to clean your brush with water, dry it using the paper towel and then take a bit of black oxide and gently create the shapes of the mountains that you want on your canvas. When you're happy with the shapes, take a bit of white and follow what I'm doing here. 
it's a winter scenery painting, so we want to have some snow on these mountains. To continue, I recommend using a sharper tip round brush as it will help making the top of the mountain a bit more sharper. I'm slowly making my way down to the bottom of the mountains. I go back and forth with mixing black oxide and white on canvas and blend them until I get the right tones. And because our sky already has a few blue tones, I like to add that as a reflection on the beautiful white snow on the mountain tops. Now for the mountain on the left side of the canvas. I'm going to give it a go and use a palette knife to paint the mountains. You don't have to do this if you do not have a palette knife, so you can continue using the same techniques that you learned earlier and just follow me using your brush. So what I do first, I clean and dry my palette knife and take a bit of black oxide on the back of my knife. I start to slowly swipe it where I want my mountains to be and create an overall shape that I have in mind. With this technique, you need a bit of practice, but, so don't worry if you don't get it in the, on the first try. I use the tip of the knife by turning it around to add a bit of more thin edges of the mountain. For the next part, I take some of the titanium white and the blue mixture that we already have and repeat what I've done for the mountains on the right. As you can see, with this technique, you will have a lot of paint on your canvas and it is a bit challenging to get it to look as smooth as you want it to be. But overall, it can be enjoyable to create textures of a rough snowy mountain top on your canvas. I go back and forth using white and oxide black to add the shades to the mountain. eventually to make the painting a bit more coherent and to be able to meet the two mountain sides together I pick up my brush and start bringing the colors in the mountains together however I like the textures created by my palette knife so I try to preserve that as much as possible
Next, we have our frozen lake at the feet of the mountains. I use a bit of oxide black and cover the whole lake area with it. Then right away, add a bit of titanium white and blend it with the background color, creating a nice grayish tone. To separate the mountain line and the lake a bit, use the most thinnest round brush you have and make sure it's covered with some titanium white. Gently take it slowly from one side of the canvas to another and create a separating line between the mountain and the lake. Take a bit of black oxide and blend it a bit right at the edge of where you just added your white line. In the meantime, we will go ahead and paint a beautiful northern light in our sky. For now, you need a mixture of permanent dark green and brilliant blue on your palette. When you see a nice mixture, take a round brush and follow how I am painting the light from behind the mountain to the top. With the same brush, take some titanium white and go over the same line that you just painted. Take a dry, flat brush that you haven't used yet swipe your brush to the upward direction. Repeat these steps again, take the green and blue mixture, add it to your canvas, take some white and use your dry brush, swipe it upwards on your canvas. Repeat this step again and again until you see the light coming to life on your painting. Lastly, I also want to add a bit of reflection of the lights on our lake. So I just use the same mixture of the colors I used earlier and add touches of it as a reflection on the lake. Now that the other parts of the lake are dry, take a bit of black oxide and white to make shadows of the mountains a bit more prominent. If you have tape around your painting, like me, let your painting dry first and then slowly remove it. I hope you enjoyed watching and painting along with me today. Thank you for joining. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. 
If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you recreated this artwork, please share it with me by tagging me on social media using at paintingsmymassa. Hope to see you soon.